In this video, or segment, I thought we'd just look at some pictures. This was shared by IRS Media, and the original content was provided by this user of Flickr. And he has a nice personal account and collection of beautiful photos of New York City back in the 70s. And I was born in New Jersey, on the bay, and this scene reminds me of my youth. When I was five, my parents moved us to Arizona. Quite a different setting. But my whole life, I'd be haunted by these memories. Even at a young age, without any understanding of history, I was bewildered by everything I saw. My mother told me recently that I was a strange child. She once took me on a roller coaster and rather than enjoy the experience or the ride, I was more interested in the workings of the roller coaster, looking all around, under and above, in no way transfixed by the illusion, but rather the actual workings of this space in which I found myself. And it was the same thing with my surroundings in New Jersey. Everything a mess. What initially appeared to be construction everywhere, but now I realize was cleaning of past destruction, demolishing half-standing buildings, and I've made videos on the Bronx. We see the exact same thing there. Again, looking like the ruins of the Civil War, Hiroshima or Nagasaki, and San Francisco, just to name a few. And I really like this collection, because again, it is a personal account. And let's dig in a little deeper. Welcome. And here, look at the Pulaski Skyway, Route 25, the world's longest high-level viaduct between Newark and Jersey City. And this is a very old picture, hardly built out, and we see this amazing feat of engineering in this old time period. And this was a supposed idea of Buckminster Fuller's to cover Manhattan with a dome. And they say it was to be a geodesic dome, which is what Buckminster Fuller is given credit for creating. But this just looks like something else. This reminds me of an old picture I saw in the city of Bologna. We had a very similar dome bubble around the city of Bologna. And in that case, was the artist depicting something that was actually there? And in this case, I just don't know. Very interesting. And here, a great example of what seem like ruins. Abandoned 19th century factories. Again, looking like Civil War ruins, untouched and absolutely amazing. And here this is titled, More Desolation in Jersey City. They tell us in 1916, This site was the site of hundreds of massive explosions of stored World War I munitions caused by German saboteurs. So they are telling us this area was bombed, but just giving us a stupid excuse, telling us that World War I munitions were detonated by German saboteurs. Absolutely ridiculous. And I think this was sitting in this condition upon inheritance and just getting to Jersey City much later in the game. Very interesting, we can see buildings out here at the base of the Statue of Liberty. And here a closer look at some of the remains of this sabotage explosion in 1916. And we're told today this is the site of a park. And just look how high-tech this is. In complete ruins by 1916. And by 1950 it would be a park and the building would be completely forgotten. Here this is titled Ruins of the Central Railroad of New Jersey. Ruins. And this is what our inheritance look like from coast to coast. Cities filled with brick buildings in ruins. 
overgrown by trees and brush, oftentimes heavy roof damage, and not the kind of ruins that would take place in a hundred years. Another hundred years, and everything would be completely overgrown. And our role as inheritors would simply be to clean up this place, oftentimes for the worst. And the further back you go in time, such as this depiction of 1856, very simply the more advanced things were. Similar to images I've shown of San Francisco in this same time period being 100% built out, we have that going on here in New York City. Lower Manhattan, and we're to believe that they quarried all of this stone, dragged it here via horse and buggy, as we can see down here. Here we go. A little look at our proud inhabitants. And I just don't think so. This is as ridiculous as San Francisco. Building out a city, laying it out in this fashion, in such an early time period. This is a city of excess. This is the end of a civilization, not the beginning. Absolutely high-tech in every way. And in many ways, having the feel of an ordinary city, but way too much in this early time period. Just look at this flagpole compared to these people and the trees that appear to be at least a hundred years old in the 1860s and this having a very similar feeling to any of the world's fair images that we look at just people strolling around bewildered at their new possession a ripe and empty city ready for the taking and inheriting absolutely mind-blowing Here's New York in 1972, and we can get a feel for the ruins, and everything looking original in this time period. All buildings of the old world, with the exception of a couple. Here another look at everything original, everything old world, except for these cheap wooden bumpers. And again, I love to focus on the artificial coastlines. Just one little section, a massive accomplishment, an underrated feat. Again, when we consider all of this is so old, just imagine the conversation in this early time period. Oh, let's build a building in the water. Something that poses a challenge, a lot of resources, time and money, even today. And here we go. He describes this as navigating the Old West on the side of the highway. We're told there was zero maintenance since its construction in the 1920s. Really? And this image is very telling. First of all, how are you pouring all of this concrete in the 1920s? And next, you're unable to maintain it for 50 years, at least? Again, ruins in plain sight with a stupid narrative and here's an old image now a park and this is all abandoned way back and here some more ruins from 1913 the central railroad in new jersey overgrown and forgotten about and here we're to believe that the city was built by these people and would fall into complete disrepair as if a bomb went off and not be repaired until the 1970s? Does this make any sense? And here a look from the 1930s. Are we building anything here? Or are we just removing and preparing a new foundation? This looks like it may have been a glorious building at one point. And what to say of these artificial islands? in this time of ruins, with buildings on them. One might think that this could possibly be natural, but this, with a palace, with an absolutely beautiful palace, and a small town, a little dome on the corner here. Unbelievable. Is this Ellis Island? Here again in 1932, everything in ruins. By 1930s, to imagine that you're abandoning a building, doesn't make any sense. 
My town can barely keep a road pothole free with cheap asphalt. And this old world was able to lay brick nice and level on the roads. Such an abundance of resources. And by the time the 1930s roll around, the people can't even maintain it. Resort to boarding up windows. The truth is the old world was also very ordinary and looks like every town and city throughout this realm. Yes, we discuss buildings built by giants, but this was built for regular people who are gone. And this is a colorized picture in 1911. And look at this tower. Again, reminding me of the towers of Bologna. What is the purpose of this tower? At least according to our narrative. These windows and really half of the structure appears to have been devoted just to this top, which would serve very little purpose pre-1900s, according to our narrative. This is a piece of tech in ruins. Down here we can see statues, and just the weathering. This color image is excellent, really giving us a feel for this city. Already old, in a very early time period. And here we're told this is a rendering by an architect. And of course you would imagine things like this if you just inherited a city that does indeed look like this, only in a completely deteriorated state. And in actuality, this is what you end up with. A big mess and only a glimpse of the wonders that came before. Welcome to America. The sky is the limit. Make what you will of this mess. And don't rock the boat. New York City. The brave new world. A place of endless opportunity. A place where you write the rules. And the narrative. And let me know what you think. Was this city just forgotten? Or was it simply found? Were we such a prosperous people? in which we would allow ourselves to build and eventually abandon such accomplishments. In a time where the population is so small, hardly occupying the streets, let alone the buildings. And after all this time, we still don't know. Who were these people, and where did they go? And this next part is an old bonus I've had laying around for weeks or months. And I just didn't know what to do with it. So this will be today's bonus. Here we are in a place called Sandusky, Ohio. And this was from a comment suggesting I look at this part of the country. Right off the get-go we see this amazing tower. And here it is on the Google Earth. And we can see a very complex layout of the city grid looking very much like a machine or a circuit board. And strategically, we can just follow these patterns and we see some nice buildings and gardens and a very intentional layout of the city streets and ports. Looks like a fascinating plethora of brick buildings to explore. But today we're going to explore this peninsula. And what is it today but an amusement park? and how we have seen the destruction of the old world intermingled with amusement parks and world's fairs and no surprise but today i don't want to focus on the amusement park but rather the land itself seldom we talk about this artificial land we focus more on the buildings and just look at this place a first class repurposing but again, I want to focus on the landmass itself. Look at this. And recently I had three dump trucks full of gravel brought out, which was very exciting. For years I've been driving on pure mud, and these three dump trucks worth of gravel immediately smushed into the mud, giving me a nice base, and I could easily use another three and I imagined hauling these out with a horse and buggy and just impossible even in my truck to replace my delivery by these huge dump trucks 
But here we're talking about land. I mean, I imagine dumping one dump truck, maybe beginning with rock, and just impossible, really. The formation of the land is more interesting than anything, and the most mind-blowing. And we're just little ants living and building on the surface, completely unaware that there's something way bigger going on here, and way more impossible by mere humans, and especially humans, in the 1870s. The 1870s is when this Sandusky, Ohio starts getting hot. 1870, we have 13,000 people, beginning in 1830 with 500 people. And what do they tell us about this touristy little amusement park we were just looking at? It's called Cedar Point, and it was started in 1870 by a local businessman. And he opened a beer garden, a bathhouse, and a dance floor on the Cedar Point Peninsula. 1870. Again, the population, 13,000. And today, I just want to focus on the land, which is the footprint of a series of star forts, as was suggested in the comment. And again, I thank you for this. And again, this guy is just said to have opened a beer garden, and then the whole park was built out around that. I'm just wondering how he and the inhabitants all got out here. It's to suggest that all of these roads were already there as well. Which I believe they were. I believe all this was artificially constructed long before. And these are just ruins. And we can see massive blocks. And today I want to just follow this peninsula here. Just imagining the impossibility of creating this in that time period. And completely in ruins now. But still much exists. Oh, here's what I wanted to show you. So here, if we go to the parking lot of this amusement park, first of all, we see that this is a Starfort Corner. Perfect repurposing parking lot, or a mine, or a dump. And here we go. So anyone can park here, and now begins the quest. So I don't know if we'd have to sneak back here, or if it's just open. Maybe they don't care. And we follow this, and these will be ruins all along here. And on my phone, we could see some sort of a tower on the tip. And let's see if it comes in any better. No. So they are concealing this, and I encourage anybody to go to this little tip parking at the parking lot, and seeing what could be seen here. It showed up a lot better on my phone, and you can see what I'm talking about. Looks like some sort of tower, and a lot of ruins. And in fact, I think this whole park, being a lesser known park, will have a lot to reveal. And I'm not sure why, but on this evening it brings me particular sadness looking at this, looking at all this research. We have so many unanswered questions. Things like this are minute details that probably aren't important. It's probably more important to focus on the bigger picture. And what is the bigger picture? For me, it's simply sharing this obvious past civilization in plain sight, everywhere. But maybe these small details have a place. Maybe it's just something like this that makes somebody say, aha, uh -huh. or maybe it's a World's Fair exhibit or expo, or maybe some highly advanced grids out in the middle of the desert. Regardless, all pointing to the same fact, a highly advanced people, and most of it a highly advanced people, being wiped out and just a mere trace or imprint of their existence remaining. And things like this most people don't give any thought to. Don't conceive of how difficult it would be to simply create how much material one would have to move out here. Similar to what we looked at recently in Buffalo, building in 20 plus foot deep waters. And I have no doubt we could do such things today. But such things are not even talked about in the historical narrative. All of this just existing. And this is probably only a small percentage of what actually was here. And when it comes to ruins in North America, things like this are not even on the table. And what was this really? And who built this? Could we at least figure out how old it is? And we would be told that these blocks were quarried, but could they be tested to determine whether they're concrete? 
And as usual, a nice little dump, a mine, a quarry. This is what's left of the wonders that were once here. And again, the coastline is some of the last to remain. Well, that's it for today. I do hope you enjoyed, and do have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe.